go? I'm over here. I know. I had you in frame over there and you left. We have a couple of major operations. We do. We have one on this one. <laughs> That's right. And Beth, this is over here. This belongs to a good friend of ours and a good customer. So the uh, slave cylinder for the uh, clutch is bad. And we have things apart. There's a seal on the shaft here that's bad, so we're going to replace that. But we had to order them parts. Yep, parts uh, ordered. So anyway, last night we had a beautiful ride on our oh, gold wing. Fabulous. And uh, so anyway, this morning, I said, well, I'm going to clean the dust off. So I went over and I'm cleaning the dust off and I was cleaning the chrome here and I pushed in on the hazard button and by the good God, there's no way you were going to turn off them hazard lights. No. The button went in and the button wouldn't come back out. So I said, well, very good. That's dirty. Now, lots of times you can, you can clean them, right? So in the haste of things, I hauled a little cover off and I heard, ding! So no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, because Honda got a spring in them. It's a little tiny switch, but the spring is about that long. <laughs> I don't know if that could fit. You sure it was in this area here? It fit in there. Yeah, it was that long. It's almost as long as a fork spring. Oh, wow, no. that's pretty long. <laughs> I think you're exaggerating a little. Anyway, so I said, well, what are we going to do with this? I said, I'll tell you what, just call up and order a, a switch. I'm not going to worry about that. How much is the switch? $300. Switch is 300 bucks. So we had to rethink things. Yeah, did we ever. So, went out where we keep the motorcycle and I found a fog light switch. Now the fog light switch is very much the same and if anybody runs into this problem, yes, with a little bit of ingenuity you can make that fog light switch work. The problem is with the Honda switch, which is this one here, it comes as a full unit. That's right. But technically, this is all that you really need. Oh. Let me see here now. Now I could do this no problem at all off camera. Okay. See? But what happens is it goes in, you see, I'm the spring goes in here. But what happens when you push it in sometimes it won't release. That's right. So I started to, uh, when I took this little, this little, hang on now folks, because I got a lot of stuff going on here. When I took, what did I take? When I took this off, remember that real long spring? Yeah, that's right. Well, actually, there he is there. <laughs> he shrunk. Yeah, he kind of, he kind of shrunk. That went flying. So, <laughs> I go out. So this is bugging me all morning because I had a few jobs on the go. So this is, um, this is in the back of my mind. And I'm thinking, well, I must have another type of switch. And when I took this switch apart, it's exactly the same switch. Except if anybody ever goes to use one of those switches to substitute, you'll have to take out one of these little dogs here with the spring and under it and put in the other cavity here. That's the only difference. Now, then I said, well, why is that not working. Why is it not releasing? It's because down here you gotta get way closer. You gotta wait. Well you gotta get way closer because I mean my god they're they're all this is I'm very patient. You patient are. is my middle name. Paul patient short. I don't think so. Anyway this little dog here you see how that works? Yes I do. Well you gotta pull up on that and put some more tension on this little spring. Well it's not a spring. I, well it technically it is a spring. Put a little bit of tension on that before you before you put all this back together. And then usually what I like to do I usually like to take some well I call it dielectric grease. Dow, Dow Corning compound. High dielectric grease strength so moisture resistant because what they had in there was like a hard grease and man it was gone harder harder so this here will kind of make it look kind of make it work a little smoother mm -hmm. now guys don't go telling me 
that I shouldn't be using dielectric grease. I've been We've using heard it all before. Yes, listen, I use this on my cereal. Okay. No, you don't. <laughs> don't you put that don't. on your cereal, folks. At home. Yeah, I guess we better tell them, hey, because you don't know. Yeah, so I'm going to put all this back together so you can see that hard grease there again. What? See it there? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you want to get rid of that old stuff like that. And then you want to. Uh, a little dab in there too. A little dab will do you. And then we're going to assemble it. So basically what ends up happening is this goes in like this. Well, again, you know, the camera's there, right? Eh? Isn't that always the, fact, the way it is? Mm -hmm. ah, Father, how come you can't be like all the other pussycats? Like that. Okay. See? Hopefully that will release. Hopefully. We're gonna put the spring in place and we're gonna see what happens, folks. If that don't work, we're gonna change over. But this will work. So anyway, all I'm telling you is they are repairable. They uh, they can work. But when you take when you go to take this apart, probably encase it in a baggie or something. Yeah. And just right. pull the tabs apart here. Yeah, so the spring don't yeah. fly. Yeah. Don't don't do what I did. Don't just learn from that. Yeah. In haste. Now you're all back original, correct? And this is your other one just in Yeah, case. just in case, yeah. But I mean, if this don't work, you can always make this work. Exactly. Okay. You've got a choice. Yeah, you got a choice because... And it won't cost 300 bucks. No, exactly. Exactly. You don't even have to do any wiring because this wire here, this is just for the light here. That can come off. You don't even need to use this because, see, all of this here is all part of this wiring. So you can just keep using this one and put it back in place. So all you're using is the mechanical part of it, not the electrical part, because it's the mechanical part that failed. Right. The lights are still working, hey, folks. I, did it. I thought it'd be unfair to show you how the spring goes. Spring goes in here, sits in there, sits in there like that. And then we're going to take another little bit of this stuff, which everybody's going to say, shouldn't be using it. And we're going to put a bit of that here, like that. All right. And then we're going to attempt to push this okay. down. We have learned something. When you go to put your spring back in, you put your spring back in like this. Now folks, this happens on the 1500s. This happens on the uh, 1800s as well from 2001 right up to 2008 so far I've read. When you go to put this back on, don't put one end down first. If you put one end down first, like I was doing, the switch won't work. You have to put them down straight. So in other words, man, I just can't do it with the, with the, the camera. <laughs> No, you did. Hey? Well, you did it off camera. Yeah. Yeah. Because it is a little fiddling with it. Oh, there's no doubt of it. And of course, my hands are full of that old dielectric grease now. There you go. Yeah. Now, see, he's still sticking, huh? Because he's caught up in that little brass piece that's down in there, right? So, folks, you're going to have to play with it. And every time you take that back off, you got to be careful. Because that's going to take off and not want to show its face no more in the shop. Let's see if I can get this done. You got to go down and you got to go straight. There you go. Yeah. He got to go straight because 
In this case, it's got the two little slider, brass sliders going along. It's got to go down straight on that, and until you get that down straight, it won't work. See, it goes in and it locks, comes out and unlocks. And of course, this is going to work the same for your driving lights, and it's going to work the same thing for your hazard lights. Yeah. See, now it's working, look. Yep. We'll put it back together and we'll give her a test. Okay, so there's your switch. Your switch will go down in here like this. Now this is a 2003 model. 2000, I think up to 2006 they're going to be pretty well the same. And you're going to put your screw in there like that. And you're going to put your other screw down here. See, a nice and steady, eh, for an old guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could have said, well, you're not an old guy. You didn't let me finish. Well, you know, you just said, yeah. I was about to end. You weren't? No. You weren't then? You're an old guy. I you weren't then? I had a little... Yeah, but no, but you, you, you got your mouth going. I didn't <laughs> get a word in. <laughs> now, this is going to look a little different, what I'm going to do here now. See? Stays in. Out, right? mm -hmm. Same him, same him. Same. So what we're going to do here now is we got a cover. This cover is going to look a bit different because the driving lights, they don't come with driving lights. You have to put a driving light kit on them, right? So when I put the kit on, I ran the switch in here. There was a blank in here and I took the, the blank out and put the switch in and I just cut a little, a little snotch uh, okay. to go right there. And then this cover goes on something like that. that. Looks good. And then it's ready to be installed. Installed. Yep. Ta -ta. Okay, so you plug it in here. And then you plug it into the master plug here. plug it in there and the moment of truth so we have no hazard lights we have awesome. right? and now this morning see it wouldn't turn off right just no, kept going right. right and then our our, uh, our fog lights work our driving lights so basically we just saved 300 bucks Definitely. because we took out that switch, took out, took it apart, and that little, I'm going to call it a little, little spade type yeah. of thing under the switch, just take it and bend it back up and get that old hard grease out of it and put some good clean lubricant in there and it'll be good to go. So. Got to put her back together, and that's a Goldwing tech tip for you. When I find something, I'll let you know about it. See you, folks. Drive safe.